A rectangle is inscribed in a circle such that each vertex of the rectangle lies on the circumference of the circle. The diagonal of the rectangle is twice the length of the shortest side of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 1089 times the square root of 3 square units. What is the length in units of the diameter of the circle? So we have a circle, and inside we have a rectangle that is inscribed, where each, here let's redraw that, it's where each vertex of the rectangle is on the circumference of the circle. So that means that the length of the diameter here is the length of the the diameter uh, the diagonal of this rectangle is equal to the diameter of the circle since it goes from one end to the other through the center okay so what we need to do is first recognize that this right here using the length and width of the rectangle and this diagonal is actually a right triangle and we are told that the length of the diagonal here is equal to 2 times the length of the shortest side. So if we make the shortest side equal to length s, then that means the diagonal is equal to length 2s. And then we can make this other side, the length, equal to length x. So we'll have this triangle here, s, x, and 2s. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the legs, and c is the length of the hypotenuse. So we'll plug in these terms. So we'll have s squared plus x squared equals 2s whole squared. Now let's solve for x. So we can find out the length of this side here. And then we can use that to find the diameter. Okay. So let's move this s squared to the other side. So we'll be left with an x squared here and a 4s squared minus s squared. So we subtra subtracted s squared from both sides and then just distributed this exponent. Now let's take the square root of both sides. This will get rid of this exponent here, since the square root of something squared is just the base. In this case, it's x. So we'll just have x equals. So then 4s squared minus s squared is equal to 3s squared. So we can take out the s squared. So we'll just have an s on the outside. And the root 3 will stay on the inside. So now we have rewritten the length of this side in terms of s. So now we can use the information that the area of this rectangle is 1089 times the square root of 3. So the area is equal to, the area of the rectangle is equal to s times x, so length times width. But we know that x is equal to this quantity that we got from using the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. So we can rewrite this to just s squared times square root of 3. So that's just s times s times the square root of 3. And we know that this is equal to 1089 times the square root of 3. So now we can just divide both sides by the square root of 3. So we'll be left with s squared equals 1089. And then we can take the square root of both sides get rid of this exponent. So we'll be left with s equals, let's put that into our calculator. So the square root of 1089 is equal to, whoops, here we can just raise this to the 0.5 power. That's the same thing as taking the square root. So the square root of 1089 is 33. We can quickly check that by doing 33 times 33 
And yep, it's 1089. So the length of this side is 33. And that also gives us the length of this diagonal here, because we know that the diagonal of this rectangle is equal to two times the length of the shortest side. In this case, it's S. So what we can do is multiply S by two. So that's just 33 times two, and that's just equal to 66. So the diameter of the circle is 66, which is just the diagonal of this rectangle.